do with hazardous wastes in our state? That was the question being discussed at public hearings in Strasburg today. In tonight's in-depth segment, New Center for Environmental Specialist Steve Anderson looks into the problem and what's being done to find a solution. In Colorado, there are over 600 firms that create toxic waste, waste that's produced in the manufacturing of many things we use every day. These 600 companies need somewhere to put all their waste. For years, that site has been here, the Lowry Landfill. The Lowry Landfill has been in the news quite a bit over the years, frequently closed down for various safety violations. The site is closed now. The State Department of Health is going to drill wells around Lowry to see if liquid wastes buried there have been seeping into the groundwater. Lowry might be closed permanently. That would please many people who live close to the site, but if Lowry were to close down, many Colorado companies would have to truck their industrial waste out of state at great cost. These companies support this site near last chance. The builders of the facility, Browning Ferris Industries, have the blessing of the State Department of Health, whose studies show last chance is safe. We feel it's very safe. We've made the commitment that any contaminated liquid uh, develops in the leachate detection system, we will remove it. We will do, dig it up and remove it at that point in time. We feel that uh, by allowing uh, the site to you know, get established that we will have contamination of our water mainly, devaluation of our land, and uh, the health and safety of the citizens in the area. We're really concerned because we feel that Browning and Ferris Industries has not got a very good track record in other states. At a public hearing being held today in Strasburg, the Adams County Commissioners have been listening to all sides of the controversy. The Commissioners have the final say and they have to make a decision by June 9th. Concerned citizens of Eastern Colorado on one side and Browning Ferris Industries on another. Also involved is a group called CALL, which stands for Citizens Against Lowry Landfill. They see the last chance facility as an alternative to Lowry. Many people will probably criticize us for being here today saying that all you want to do is dump it in somebody else's backyard, and that's not the case. And we've been working, CALL has been working for responsible hazardous waste legislation and disposal in this state for the last year and a half since we've been formed. Our ultimate goal is to close down the Lowry landfill. Of course, nobody wants a hazardous waste facility in their area, and as this sign back here indicates, emotions in Strasburg have been running high. One thing's for certain, though, whatever the decision is of the county commissioners, the fight won't end there. Steve Anderson, New Center 4. The Lowry landfill was closed on Friday when a drum of toxic waste was found sitting in a pool of liquid. If conditions improve, however, Lowry could reopen as soon as tomorrow.